Well, now to a strike here in Lexington where truck drivers for a distributor for Keurig and Dr. Pepper products have stopped working, saying that they're fighting for better wages and improved working conditions. Our Annie Brown joins us live from the plant with details on their fight. Annie? Yeah, Lisa, the strike's been happening here on Danforth Drive. Some workers tell me they've been staying here overnight. I'm going to step out of the frame so you can see a little bit more of what's happening here. Workers say 11 members from Local 651 walked out last Tuesday after negotiations with the company stalemated. Workers say they began negotiations with the American Bottling Company, a distributor for Keurig Dr. Pepper, Snapple, and 7-Up on February 7th on a new collective bargaining agreement. Workers say they're their biggest issue is pay, which they say hasn't been adjusted for inflation, insurance, and issues like cameras in truck cars. Another concern for the group is getting holidays like Martin Luther King Jr. Day and Juneteenth recognized as company-wide holidays. Take a listen. And we've had uh, support from UPS, Pepsi, uh, just different truck drivers company uh, coming to support us to actually fight for a fair and equal wage. Um, also other things. Uh, such as uh, Martin Luther King Day or Juneteenth. Uh, we really just been fighting to get that push through there just to um, really uh, show people that we are more than just a number and truck driver, that we are also a, a community and a culture. Spokesperson got back to us with this statement, quote, KDP's offer provides market competitive compensation and benefits. In fact, the union publicly stated that the market hourly rate for drivers is 20 to $30, and our offer was well within that range. There are seven paid holidays, of which we conveyed during negotiations, can be determined by the union with six personal days available to employees. Our offer currently remains on the table, which we hope the union will ratify and return to work, end quote. Now, the workers we say we spoke with say there's not an end in sight and they will continue to fight until there's change. Live in Lexington, Annie Brown, ABC 36 News. All right. Thank you, Annie. Well, Lexington police